Hello friends. Thank you for watching our video of our time at Universal's Volcano Bay Water Theme Park. Just to let you know, uh, we did have tickets that allowed us to get into the park one hour before opening. So cool. So on one of the days, we did take advantage of that option. So some of the pictures that you see, you will see there are hardly any people there, just the early admission people. So it allowed me to get some pretty good photos. So anyway, come on, let's go in. There's a short bus ride to the uh, entrance of the park. Um, it's actually kind of fun. And some of the drivers can be a little like NASCAR race car drivers. So it depends on who the driver is. You may need to hold on tight. The entrance to Volcano Bay, it is very grand. It's, it's captivating. Um, it gets you excited to get inside. Um, I always try to capture it some type of way. My family wasn't really uh, feeling a family photo. They were excited to get inside. My little friend there, he welcomes the guests um, in his native tongue. He was being shy. I was trying to get Ansley to make him talk. <laughs> Yay, we are now inside of Volcano Bay. We have our tap you, tap you. We scanned our tickets, we're in. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lots of green foliage and lush plants, tropical plants everywhere. It's just a beautiful park. There's the big daddy, the volcano that everyone loves at the wave pool. Our tap you, tap you watches, I will explain later. These little water sprayers are everywhere throughout the park, little spigots, because there's lots of sand in Volcano Bay. Uh, there are sanded areas that mimic a beach. And that is one of the beautiful pictures that I was able to capture as an early admission guest. This ride my family did uh, without me the first go round. They took the Bluetooth down and that's too much thrill for me. So the second time around, they begged and pleaded and I went and I'm so glad I did, but we took the green tube it's a milder ride. I'm usually the person who never rides anything, so they were very happy. It was so much fun. You may hear my husband say five minutes, and we run, and Ansley runs out of the pool. That's because our tap you tap you at five minutes. On it. I will explain later. Okay. The Fearless River is not for scary people or for people who don't like a little bit of a thrill or a lot of thrill. In my in my opinion, you must be fearless. It's a strong river. It's nothing like a lazy river. I did this ride last year um, in 2018. And uh, the, the attendant was like, oh, you'll love it. It's so nice and relaxing. No way. That thing is no joke. It's fast and it's a strong current. And it's not for me. My husband was very nervous with me in there. He... And I both agree that I should not do the Fearless River. If hunger strikes, no worries. There's lots of places to eat, concession stands and restaurants with good food and desserts. I asked these handsome brown boys if I could take their picture and they allowed me to do so, as well as this beautiful young lady and these two handsome gentlemen.
right here we're just back at the wave pool amber's on the edge um of the wave pool just enjoying the waves um those people that i photographed those um beautiful that beautiful chocolate skin the two guys that were at the end as i was taking the picture of the lady the young lady she was being very shy and very low confidence it's like no 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 not me and they were passing by and they were like hey beautiful smile for the lady so of course i thought that was really nice she blushed so I had to, of course, make them take a picture too. I told them to turn around and how nice that was. They allowed me to get their picture. Ansley Marie really enjoying herself and living her best life here, honey. <laughs> the music that you hear playing in the background is the Wave Pool's signature theme music that plays before the waves start. It has a dance to go along with it. We are now enjoying the Lazy River. Yay! My favorite attraction. Very relaxing. Um, if you fall asleep, there are sprinkles and showers that will wake you up. Of course, you can avoid those if you'd like, but hey, there's nothing wrong with a little sprinkle. If you plan on using your phone, be sure to purchase a waterproof phone pouch before you come to the park, or either you can purchase one inside. They do sell them at the souvenir gift shops, but be sure to get one. <laughs> the cave um, is very beautiful, and as you can see, there's a fall, a waterfall feature. As you enter the cave, and you will also experience a waterfall feature as you exit the cave. So you will get wet, and your phone will get wet if you have to buy a pouch. The Aqua Coaster, it is very fun. As you can see, I was not on it the first time. I was scared, but I did ride this the next time with my family and I'm so glad I did. It was so much fun. Of course, us girls will not pass up a good photo opportunity. We had a little time, so we took some photos. Beautiful scenery everywhere. There's my husband and I and the four of us missing our son who could not take off from his new job. Good food everywhere. There are options for premium seating. Volcano Bay is at capacity. So here we are again at Universal City Walk. Eating lunch. They let us in. We're going to Volcano Bay. We waited at the City Walk for probably about 45 minutes. Well, we kind of broke some rules. 